。第一张 ，two x minus three bracket square。Two x minus three, and then two x plus three. Hi, I'm Langjun Mathematics here. So previous video, right? We talked about this thing. Okay, we talked about uh, algebraic expression involving form one up to form three. Okay, where I talked about some very baby step based algebraic ideas, right? Okay, so now I'm going to continue with something more advanced, uh, where it involves two brackets and each of the bracket it involves two terms so that's the part where we have to talk about it today lah. okay so i will take this away and i will continue with this example over here so i move it away now okay then we are going to talk about this it's under form 2 okay under form 2 kssm syllabus we name it as factorization and algebraic fraction okay so let's start off with this this very important word where we name it as algebraic okay which is the continuous I mean, it's in information from the previous video lah, okay? Now, so the, the question that I wrote on the previous video, it's 3a minus 2 and 4a plus 5, okay? It, it's between two brackets and each of the bracket, there is two terms inside, okay? Now, so what, uh, what happened here is, okay, I will just interpret it this way, okay? So most of the reference or maybe your school teacher or maybe even you yourself when you do it, when, when you do it on the first attempt, Okay, I believe every student will do this thing then. Okay, so they will say, oh, there is one term, two terms, three terms, and four terms. Right? Then? So what happened is, they will do like arrow by arrow, arrow by arrow. Okay, so they will, what, what they do is, they will just multiply one by one, like let's say the first one, 3a. So 3a times 4a, Okay, multiply, you just don't care about unknowns, whether it's the same thing or different thing, just multiply everything. So, right? so let's do the times up. So as you repeat the same steps when you do your normal times, right? You will check your symbol, your number, your unknowns, right? Now. Okay, so I'll take it away. We are talking about uh, times now, okay? Now, so 3a times 4a, positive and positive, you get a positive, so I just don't care. And after that, 3 times 4, the number, I get 12. a times a, I get an a squared. And of course, 3a times plus 5, okay, 3a times plus 5. As you can see when I read out, right, if let's say there is a symbol, I'll just read out. Uh, so symbol is very important uh, info here where it, it, it affects your answer. And okay, so again, 3a times 5a, so double positive, you get a positive. Okay, and after that, 3 times 5, you get 15. A, you just stick together. And after finally, we come to the second, second one, which is minus 2 and 4a. Okay, so when you multiply it, you get minus and plus minus 2 and 4 you get 8 nothing with the unknown you just get an a you stick it together and the final one you get minus 2 and plus 5 you get minus and plus minus 2 and 5 you get a 10 okay then of course now the important thing comes in really where it confused so many students okay first thing okay so as you can see we are we go go by this kind of explanation if let's say you talk about it in detail right okay so inside the bracket based on bot mass yes you have to do the inner bracket first but 3a minus 2 in your plus minus point of view you see you see in your plus minus point of view plus minus point of view extra 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 careful okay so same unknown you continue different unknown you stop yeah so that's what happened okay see different unknown stop different unknown stop but never mind because bracket means time so we do it one by one so that's why we apply that that multiply thing okay so after you multiply you get another plus minus question again so the only thing that you can minus and plus is the one in the middle where it shows the same unknown right so 12 a square then you get a plus 15 minus 8 same unknown just put it back as in the unknown ah. okay so how much you get for this one you get a plus 7a minus 10 so this is your final answer okay so this is the general version of it but as for me right i will do it this way because in the end when you draw all these brackets right it's better if you imagine it so what i do is okay for for Liangjie, right i will do like let's say lah, okay i make it something uh something else let's say i get a 7b minus 3 and after that i get a 2b plus 2 okay for example something like this so instead of um, doing it in a in a in an arrow arrow way okay so why not we do it this way we just treat it like this okay so yes i i know that there is one term two terms okay after that there's your third term and there's your fourth term here and as as you can see when i underline the terms right i underline together with the symbol right okay so what i'm trying to do here is to explain this one more time can you see this minus three and this two a plus plus three 
So two way plus three, you come plus, right? You see, unknown is the same thing. You continue with your plus minus, but different. You stop. You see, we we stop there. We don't we don't plus them. Okay, two way plus three, you come plus. So what we do is we take the minus three, we multiply one by one, and we get this answer and stop there, because eventually when you get this answer right, you stop there because unknown is different. Uh, so that will be the answer. Okay, so I'm using this idea in this particular question. Basically, it's the same thing, it's just that it's more advanced, right? Okay, so what I do is, okay, number one, I'll start with start off with 7b, right? I'll just cover up the minus 3 and I'll read it, you see? Basically, this whole thing looks like 7b multiplied 2b plus 2, you see? It's sort of something like this, uh, you see? One, one term multiplied with a bracket with two terms inside, you see? One term multiplied with two terms with bracket inside, so the idea looks like this. So I just cover up the minus 3 and I, 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 do, the, I do the same pattern. Okay, so let's read it. 7b and 2b, you get a plus and plus is still plus. As, as you know, when, when I say plus, when I say positive, it's the same thing. Lah. Okay, so plus and plus, still get a plus. 7 times 2, you get a 14. b times b, you get a b square. Okay, and of course, you do the next one. 7b and plus, plus 2, you see, it's the same thing. You get a plus and plus, you get a plus, 7, 2, 14, and then B, you stick it together. And you cover up 7B now, you repeat the same steps. Okay, so this one you get what? Minus 6B, and after that, this one, you get minus 6. Uh, okay, so we are doing that, this kind of like step by step in a baby step manner, right? Okay, so this thing. Uh, so 14B squared, so looks like the only thing that you can do plus minus is the one in the middle again. So plus 14b minus 6, you get a plus, how much? Plus 8b minus 6. Okay, so that will be your final answer. Lah, okay, so that's how you multiply it. Okay, so of course, when you do all these things, right, you have to practice a lot. So in, in your algebraic expression, you have to practice, keep practicing, keep practicing to make it perfect as in, not to say blindly do it, but you, you, you are kind of like, because... You, you have to be familiar uh, you, have, you have to familiarize with all the timetable thing you have to be fast you have to be uh, very very confident with your final answer or your plus minus all those things that's why it's better when you spam a lot uh, you spam you know spam means that you do a lot okay uh, a lot of like absolute expression related question okay so that you are very confident with the workings and everything okay so it's not that spamming a lot of questions do help like okay now so let's go to the next part Okay, so uh, th this will be like the general version of, uh, of your like, multiplying stuff, lah, okay? And as for this kind of question, right, when it comes to form 4, we name it as quadratic. Now, so let's move, move on, okay? So we just don't care about uh, the quadratic thing, okay? We care about our form 1, form 2, and form 3. What are the things that we have to know to, to get a complete final answer like this, okay? We expand it, okay? These are expanding. Okay, so I'll be doing like another pattern where I will just do it this way. Okay, where in your textbook they'll write a plus b square. Okay, another one they put something like a minus b square, right? Okay, another one it's they put a plus b and a minus b. Okay, these three things over here it shows three different pattern. Okay, but working wise is the same thing. Okay, you are still using the same pattern. Okay, same pattern, but it's just that. Uh, what we do is we, uh, we 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 write in a different manner, lah, Okay, so again I have to repeat. Okay, a common mistake that student did, okay, they always say is that, hey, a square means I can take the square and I multiply into each of the terms here and I get a square plus b square. Come on, this is a big wrong, man. So a square plus b square is a big wrong. Okay, you don't do that. Okay, same applies here. No, same applies here. No, you can't do, you can't do that. Okay, so we have to understand it first before we do it. Okay, so we have to understand the correct traditional way. So the correct traditional step-by-step, baby-step way, right? It will be A plus B, A plus B. So for students where you are kind of like uh, very, very strong in all this algebraic stuff, right? So better you, better you, how say, come up with faster workings, right? It helps you in your admits. Okay, so all these things over here, they are baby steps. Okay, baby steps. So it, it assists you in understanding it better. Okay, uh, so go, uh, go faster. Okay, go faster as in your workings. Okay, the way you write everything. If you are, if you are good enough, okay, you already understand like the, the process. Okay, so now back to our baby steps. Okay, this one, you see? So I cover up my plus B, so I do the same thing, you see? I'm doing this method. So A and A, you get an A square. Okay, A and plus B, you get a plus AB. So A square plus AB. I cover up the A, I repeat the same steps, I get plus AB. Then after that, 
plus b squared. So I didn't go by detail because I, I do it over here already. So you can you can refine it back, okay, to, to get your to get your explanation. Okay, so I just do it faster. Okay, now, so again, eh, these two things you can plus right, but I have to keep repeating this plus a b plus a b. You get a what? You get a plus two a b. You have to remember that when you're doing your plus minus, you are telling yourself that same unknown. You do it. Okay, same unknown, you do it, but you add the numbers only. So you see this like 1AB, 1AB, you get a 2. Okay, so now, that's your final answer. As you can see, if let's say we are trying to make it faster, you know that you get 3 terms as your final answer. 3 terms, huh? Okay, so now, back to this one. So, please, uh, this is a common mistake, don't do that. Okay, so back to our normal working, so we have our A minus B and A minus B. I repeat it one more time. Square means you multiply it. Okay, multiply it one more time. You see, A minus B, you multiply it one more time. Okay, so do it. Cover up the minus B, and as you read it, it will be A and A, A square, A and minus B, minus A, B. Okay, so in order to make sure you are really understand like the process, everything, so make sure you just pause, refine it back, okay, repeat the, the explanation that I mentioned to you to make sure you are good in all this, uh, all this uh, explanation. Okay, so next we get a plus B squared. Okay, so just, just to re re repeat it on this multiplying stuff. Huh? Okay, so I cover up the minus B. You see, A times A, you get a A square, right? So, A times minus B, you get a minus AB. So I cover up the A. So this thing, you see, minus B and A, you get minus AB. And then minus B and minus B, you see, double minus, you get a plus B squared, okay? So now, so it looks like the one in the middle, you can do it again. So you get minus 2AB plus B squared. Done. Okay, so as you can see, again, you get how many terms as your final answer? Three terms, okay? Now, the final one. So we are, what, what we are try, trying to do here is we are trying to find a pattern to assist in uh, working, out, working out your final answer faster. Okay, these are steps where you see from here you need two workings to get your answer. You see from here you need, you need two workings to get your answer. Okay, now uh, so we are, we are trying to improve it. Okay, so how you take this thing and straight away come into this final answer here, later we will talk about it. Okay, now uh, so move it over here. Okay, here. So plus uh, A plus B, and after that, uh, you have your A minus B. This thing, this plus and minus thing is not the same as these two. Two different things, okay? So there is like pattern number one, you know. So this is like type one, uh, type one. This is type number two. Okay, this is your type number three. Okay, three different types here, you know, okay? So type one, type two, and type three, okay? Now, so back to this. So we just do it one by one, okay. So equals to, uh, so I cover up the plus B, so I repeat A and A, A square. And after that, A and minus B, you get a minus A, B. Cover up the A, you repeat it, you get a plus A, B, and finally minus B square. So again, you get same unknown to do your plus minus. And now, minus A, B plus A, B, you get what? Nothing, okay, nothing. So your final answer comes out A squared minus B squared. So what is the difference between these three type of somehow looks a bit similar, okay? So as you can see, three terms over here, three terms over here, and two terms over here. And this three, three, two over here, we will do it in the next video, okay? In the next video, I will be talking about how to do it fast, accurate. Uh, so how to do it fast and accurate so we will do it in the next video so these are the baby steps one by one baby steps on how to work out form 2 related expand which is kind of like slightly more advanced huh? so if let's say you are not so sure about all the little little bookings you can go back to the previous video where i talked about this form 1 up to form 3 okay slowly evolved version of algebraic okay you can you can look at that okay that will be your baby steps of your algebraic lah. okay so i move it away okay come back to this if you like my video share it subscribe for more videos ciao